Today, I'm going to be smoking up some chickens on the Ugly Drum Smoker with my buddy, Frack Daddy. So y'all stick around and see how we cut these chickens up. We're going to inject them with some fantastic uh, uh, injections from Cosmo. We got some great seasons for them. So stick around. Let me show you how we get this job done. This is Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine, and I am Chef Johnny, and this is my buddy, Frack Daddy, over here. So make sure you find his channel. I'm going to put a link down below for it. But folks, I've got a fantastic... Uh, couple of chickens here. We're going to cut them in half. I'm going to show you how to do that with some shears. Uh, I'll put some links down for showing me how to do it with some knives so y'all can see my barbecue chicken and cutting them in half with a knife. But I'll put that link down below so you can find it. But uh, we're going to come in and we're going to use our Cosmos injection, just their, their uh, chicken injection. And then we're going to come off. We're going to do a couple. Uh, we've got four different seasons. So we're going to get two seasons. We're going to layer those seasons, which you've heard me talk about, layering our flavors. So we're going to have injection. We're going to have two different seasonings, and then we're going to come back with some uh, fantastic Cosmos barbecue sauces on top of that. So, hey, come in here close. Let me show you how we get those chickens apart, and uh, then we're going to show you how we uh, get them injected and get them seasoned up. First thing we're going to do is we're going to mix up our uh, injection. So we're going to be using one-third cup. Well, close enough. We don't have We're going to eyeball it, not measuring it off. But this is the original chicken from Cosmos. We got two cups of water in there. I think that should be good. Now we're gonna close her up and we're gonna shake it up really mix, well. Mix it up real good. So all you gotta do, we're gonna let that sit for a minute. Then we're gonna get to cutting up these chickens. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna turn my chicken over, find his backbone. And I'm just gonna take this pair of kitchen shears and I'm gonna go straight down this chicken and open it up. And I'm gonna take the backbone all the way out. And the reason I take my backbone out and I take my breastbone out is so the two halves will cook evenly. And that's the reason for taking both of them out. You see how easy that was? Backbone's out. And let me show you how I get the uh, breastbone out. Just come in here and you can use a utility knife. I've just got a, a big paring knife here today is what I've got. But I kind of cut it in the middle, pop it open, and I find that breastbone. And what I do is, is I cut right inside my breast and I'm gonna go straight down. And the only hard part is right here, and that's where your wishbone is, right? Mm -hmm. So that's out. And this one, look at this, it had a broken leg. That wasn't me, it was already like that. I cut off this little bit of fat. These are H-E-B naturals, I like them real well. Push that one over there where uh, Frack Daddy can get to it, and he's gonna start seasoning them up. But now with my breast, I'm gonna push down, and I'm gonna cut through the cartilage right here. There's a little cartilage joint right there. So. Push it down, same way, cut in toward my breastbone. And I'm gonna take this breast bone all the way off. Turn y'all around here where y'all can see. And try to get all the meat off of there and not leave it on the bone, right? But there it is. Pull this fat off. That's not bad. That one's ready to get seasoned up. So we're gonna switch over. I'm gonna let Frack Daddy show you how he seasons them up. But we're gonna put two layers on there and we're going to inject it and he's going to show you that part all right guys so here i am we're going to inject these and i think my best way i'm going to come in here and inject these i'm going to come from the back side so we're not going to pierce the skin because if you poke holes in your skin you're going to lose a lot of juice so come in here right here in this leg make sure you don't get a bone See that baby plumping up right there? Come over here into the breast. Couple and if you look, as he's coming out, he's putting some in. So it's not all going in at the bottom of that needle. He's injecting as he's coming out. So come up here to the top of it. And we'll come over here to this side, to the, to the wing, which... Can't really, there's no way to get to the wing without injecting it right into the wing. And I think we're gonna be pretty good. We don't wanna over inject this. We're pretty much gonna do the same thing to this other one. And we'll just repeat. There we go. There you Where? go, I don't know if you can see that, but we have juice coming up out oh, of there. Yeah. That one's ready to go. So let's go ahead and uh, season it up. And uh, what are we gonna start with? I, we're gonna, we got two. We're gonna, we're gonna go gonna... with a base layer of Cosmos. SPG, which has some really big chunks of garlic, 
salt and pepper and a little bit of sugar. So we'll come on here and we'll start with this backside. What I'm gonna do too is I'm gonna fold that skin up so it gets on the leg. Now remember we're gonna have two layers so you don't wanna overdo it with both of them because you can't overpower it if you're not careful. So you're gonna do two thin layers to get you one nice thick layer That's where right. you want it. And we can take this one same way. Appreciate my assistant, Chef Johnny. Now, if you wanted to use mustard or a binder or something, I use mustard usually today. We're just elected not to use a binder on them. All right, let's go ahead and come back with our uh, second rub. Which is a honey chipotle with killer bee. Which just will add some so beautiful sweet. color. It's gonna add some color, it's gonna add a little bit of heat. And I tell you what, the uh, chipotle is going to put a nice smokiness to it. I'll come up here a little bit because when you come up here a little bit higher, you get a nice layer of your seasoning where it doesn't all clump up into one spot. Yeah, if you're real close, it will. You'll get a, you'll get it in. You won't get it spread out as much. So we want to spread it out some. And this is going to be probably our, our dominant rub on here. Let's go ahead and move our skin back out of the way so we can season this bottom side here. We're going to get a nice layer of this honey uh, chipotle killer bee. I love the color of this rub. Oh yeah, these are going to these are going to have some beautiful, beautiful color to them. You ready to flip yep. that over? We'll go ahead and flip her over. All right, get some. You can get some killer bee on this one. And this top side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some paper towels and we're going to pat it dry. So we got a little bit drier skin. That's going to help with the browning process also. Hold this up for him too. We're going to get that leg, coat that leg really good with that uh, Chipotle Killer Bee honey. What do you think? Is that good right there, Chef Johnny? Looks pretty good. We can flip that one over now. Let's grab some paper towels and we're just going to pat these dry. And again, use olive oil. Some people use salad dressing, some people use mustard. Use the binder you want. Today, we just didn't go with any binder. I've seen some people use a Pam cooking spray. Some people do that. I, like I said, I'm a mustard guy. I, I like to use mustard. Are you ready to go? We're gonna come in with our SPG. So let's, I'm gonna hold the wing up for him. Definitely get some big chunks of onion in this and garlic. Pretty much go good on anything. What do you think? Oh yeah, the uh, SPG is fantastic. Now we can get on top of our wing. All right, come back. You know, and if this is a little bigger than what you want, granular wise, remember you can always put this in a coffee grinder and uh, and you know make it a little bit fine, like a finishing dust. Oh yeah. You can take it as fine as you want it. Hold the wing up there. All right, now let's go with some uh, of the honey chipotle. It's gonna have a beautiful color again. All right. All right, I think we're good. What do you think? I think so. That one's ready. We're gonna move it to the side. And we're going to do our other one that's going to have Dirty Bird on it. And it's going to have just some of the plain honey killer bee. So we're going to have one a little spicier, one not quite so spicy. So we'll move it over and we'll get that one done. UDS is up to about 300 degrees. On this side, we are going to have our Dirty Bird with our honey killer bee. On this side, on that side, it's going to be our SPG. Then we came back on top of that with the uh, honey, honey chipotle, chipotle killer bee. So we're gonna take these, I figure it's about an hour and a half cook, but uh, we're gonna get it covered back up and we'll see y'all in about 90 minutes. While these chickens are cooking, I wanna tell you about this new apron I got. I tell you what, I am loving this apron. OLPR uh, is a company that builds leather goods and one of the things that they make are aprons. Now, this is waxed canvas with leather accents. It's got a leather pouch, it's got leather straps. And I tell you what, folks, I am loving this apron. And uh, you get a discount if you're interested in an apron. They have plain canvas, they got denim, 
They've got uh, these wax canvas with the leather. You get different scenarios of it. I think you even get them personalized. They'll even do some logos or initials or something on the leather patches. But hey, I'm liking it. I'm gonna put a link for them below. And remember, I got a 10% off. I think it's Chef Johnny 10 is what it is, but I'll confirm it and put that down below so y'all can see the exact discount code. So they'll give you a little break if you tell them Chef Johnny sent you over there. These birds are up to 165, so we're gonna get them off. And I tell you what, they got some beautiful color to them. Oh yeah. Bring this up where we can see. Look at that. This is our SPG right there with our, uh, what did we put on this one? We did the, the honey chipotle. Honey chipotle right there. I'll tell you honey that. Chipotle killer bee. Yep. And this is our sweet one. This has dirty bird. And along with the dirty bird, we have the uh, honey killer bee with beautiful color. They got some nice smoke. So we're going to get these off and uh, we're going to get them sauced up and get them back on here. These are looking really pretty. And uh, for our, our sweet ones, this has the uh, the honey killer bee. Yep. And it, and it has our uh, dirty bird. We're coming up on top right here with just the uh, honey jalapeno. So just a little bit of heat on top of these, not a lot. Open this up. And we're gonna spread this around with our little silicone brush here. Now, if you were in a contest or something, you really wouldn't want to use a brush because you don't want to brush off your finish, right? Right. You also don't want to have it cold. You want to have your sauce warm, right? Right. We'd have a hot sauce and it would just spread much better. Now but this is for us at home. Now I've seen some guys, they'll just take and they'll have a big pan, right? And they'll just submerge the whole thing to kind of eliminate the... They will. It get, to me, that gets a little too saucy. Okay. And so that's why I really don't like to do it that way. But to each their own, right? Right. And once again, just gonna spread it. We'll get these back on there, maybe 15 minutes, and we'll set this sauce, and they'll be ready to go. That one is ready to go back on. Let's get the other one. This is our SPG and our- uh, Honey Chipotle. Honey Chipotle. And then we're gonna be using a apple Chipotle and I think that's gonna comp complement or complement this very, very well. And like you guys saw Chef Johnny do the first one, we're gonna kind of do the same thing. Just put a little bit on here and then brush it on. How do those look there, Johnny? Those look good. Let's get them back on that uh, UDS. All right. We're about, we've had these on there about 15, maybe 20 minutes. Gonna we'll pull them off, sauce is set, we're gonna let them cool a little bit, then we'll sample them up. But, oh yeah, look at that. They look delicious. Pretty birds. Here's our spicy side. And our sweet side. Hey, this is looking good. We're gonna get some samples off of here. But I'm gonna bring y'all in. I want y'all to see how moist and juicy uh, this bird is after we injected it with that that Cosmos, the original chicken. But we're gonna we're gonna slice a piece off and let y'all see kind of what this breast looks like. Yes. Oh, look at that. Look how moist that is. It's packed full of moisture, and you know it's gonna be packed full of flavor. Here you go. Want to try some of this? So we'll get, both get a piece off. Now, this is our sweet one, so it has dirty bird on the bottom, then honey killer bee, and then it has the uh, honey jalapeno honey jalapeno sauce. barbecue sauce. We're gonna give this a try. Mm. Man. I got look up, I got juice running down my knuckles. Mm. Tell you what, that is packed full of packed full of moisture. The barbecue sauce complements the rubs. It's got a lot of yum. It's not overly spicy. It's probably, like you said, one of the sweeter ones. I'm really digging that. Yeah. Well, this is our spicy bird. So we had SPG on it. That's and right. And then we did the Chipotle honey killer right. bee. And on top of that, we had an apple Chipotle That's right. barbecue sauce. So, so this is more of our Chipotle. This is the one he seasoned up. He wants the wing. So I'm going to give him the top portion of this wing. I'm here. a wing guy. And I'm going to slice me off a piece. Here we oh, go. Man. Look at that. Cheers. Cheers, man. 
Mm. Look at that. Fall off the bone. Moist. Packed with flavor. I tell you what, you know what? I like the flavor of this one. I like the salt, pepper, garlic, and then the little bit more of a kick. Hey, it's great. Y'all give it a try. Show Cosmo some love. Tell them Chef Johnny sent you there. And uh, I know they would appreciate that, and so would I. But thanks for stopping by Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. Always do appreciate it. Uh, and we're going to see y'all down the road. But goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye. How them boys put food away beats all I've ever seen.